Hey, nerdlings, Nick Lotus84, back with another episode of Asagao Academy with Ultimate Carl. Hey. And when we last left our heroine, Hana, and her trusty sidekick, Mai, they had just been sidekicked right out of the Normal Boots club room. So Mai got the bright idea to go try to find the boots, and Shane caught us. Now we can go to the crying party with the sad girls hosting from that poster back there. Yep. Yeah, I, I kind of want to cry right now because I feel like I just blew it with Shane. D- do you think he's going to tell the rest of them? Um, I really hope not. I might have ruined my reputation with them and my chance to date Shane. Sorry. I think you mean I might have ruined your reputation with them. Yeah, you totally just screwed up my, my relationship with my bae, my... She threw her head back and laughed, not quite grasping the consequences of her actions. Well, to be fair, honey, you do kind of blow things out of proportion. You'll be fine. I'll even be fine. They're students just like us. It's not like we stole it. But Shane, he was really angry. That's just an act. Don't worry about it. Anna, I said I would protect you, right? Uh, He has the kudere. This is that he's always mad, so... Her words seemed genuine enough, but I had a hard time believing her. It was almost as if she planned for us to get caught by the curmudgeon of the group. Okay. Good. Now let's head back to the dorms. That competition is tomorrow, and I do not plan on losing due to lack of sleep. If they even want us there anymore. The tournament? I completely forgot. Would they even let us participate considering what we just did? My hummed happily as she skipped down the hall, somehow impervious to my anxieties. I just want to go to the crying party. Yep. Heart heavy, I followed her. Only time would tell. Or I could just go to the host club and forget about these normal boots weirdos. Yeah. (laughs) Saturday dawned bright and harsh. The cloudy light outside mirrored my gloomy mood as I quickly dressed and woke up Mai. Hey! Mai, it's time to get up! Uh, why? I kind of want to know if they're make if the- if- if, uh, the- Illus seed people have made Asagao Stinger's shirts yet. <laughs> I would totally buy one. <laughs> the video game competition, remember? We're playing Stupendous Stomping Sisters today. Yeah, that one's gotta, that's gotta be Super Smash Bros. It's Bonus. totally Super Smash yeah. Bros. My shot straight up out of her bed. Oh my god! Jared! I can hang out with Jared today! Adorbs. She catapulted from the top of her bunk bed and sprinted out into the hallway. I heard crashes and shrieks as she massacred the other girls to get into the bathroom. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Joshua Lena, what are you doing here? The sun slowly rose through the window. Everything would be just fine, right? Soon Mai returned, fully dressed and raring to go. Wake and bake. Come on, Hana, let's go. <laughs> She, uh, there haven't been as many hints toward her, like, you know, No, not since it. the beginning. <laughs> she grabbed my hand and dragged me out into the campus commons. Her incessant tugging hurt, but I followed her silently. Even more strangely, she wasn't talking either. Our nerves had gotten the better of us both. We wandered the halls of the boys' dorm, making our way to 402. The dormitory itself smelled awful, like stale Dorito chips. Awesome. I, won- I wonder. I was about to say. I was about to think. I was thinking this. I wondered how I never noticed it, and realized this was the first time I came on a weekend. Rather than wandering campus all day for classes and clubs, most people were sleeping in or hanging out in their rooms. And then, man, I went to like a not even you know prestigious college, and the dorm didn't smell. Like the dorm itself didn't smell. Yeah. I don't like know. rooms did, but. Yeah, I don't know. I guess high schoolers just stink more than college students. It smells like it probably smells hella like axe up in here. <laughs> axe and stale Doritos. Do they even? Do they even? Does anybody even buy axe anymore? Is that still a thing? <laughs> I think it still exists. I no. know when I went to when I went to high school and college, that was a thing that like, yeah, dudes would just fucking drown themselves in axe in lieu of taking a shower and stuff. Ew. No, still one of my favorite things was like, I think it was like basically designer imposter acts or something, and it's called Bodman. 
and you can get it at like Walmart or Kmart or something. I don't know if it still exists. It's been a few years since I've seen it, but it used well, to. I know actually- there was a, there was a, there's a, some kind of spray that was actually just called Bod, and I mean That's it wasn't it, even. Bod. And they actually it did even, commercials for it. Yeah, and the commercials they, they used to come on during like during movie previews and stuff too. Because yeah, and it was like just a bunch of slow mo cuts of like shirtless dudes and just being like, "I want your bod." Your bod. Check out that bod. Yeah, and I think yeah. at one point, I think at one point they made a bottle that was shaped like a guy's torso. <laughs> I'm sure they did, which like. It was for men, so the advertising was all very strange. It's 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 another soccer practice situation. I, I guess so, yeah. Oh, I my. remember, I forgot which, I think it was, it wasn't OMG Con, <laughs> but it might have been Ohio Con or some other convention that I went to one year. But like, the little swag bag you got on Friday had a stick of deodorant in it one year. Well, that's, that's helpful, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With close quarters and whatnot. My slowed down as we climbed the stairs, staring at the floor. The closer we got, the slower we progressed. We opened up the fourth floor door and crossed the hall. Finally, we stood in front of PBG and John's door. Um, you should knock. What? What? Me? You should knock. You got here first. Yeah, but you're their friend. And <laughs> I will knock the door off the handle. Well, off the hinges. Well, you know them better. But you've got pink hair. Okay. I love how that's the that's the argument for everything. Yeah. I'm gonna guess this is Jared. Is this, is there a problem, ladies? I don't know who it is. It might but. be PBG or John. I'm not sure. Just the use of ladies. Ladies. Yep. And ham. It's for Jared. <laughs> we both froze. Oh, Sense of ham wafted through the air. I love it. Jared smells like ham. So he's an omelet, because he's cheesy and smells like ham. <laughs> nice. That's perfect. Jared. <laughs> I still love that ham. Ham. Good morning. Hello, ladies. Is there something wrong with the door? Take the door off its hinges and put the hinges into fuckboy's hands. <laughs> oh, no, no, we just... We didn't want to wake them up. In case they were still sleeping. <laughs> Jared let out a low-throated laugh. <laughs> I don't think they'd mind having you wake them up. Ooh. Mai's eyes almost rolled into the back of her head. As she started foaming at the mouth. Oh god, she was possessed. <laughs> by Jared's by Jared's ham smell. <laughs> yes. Here, allow me. He leaned between us and tapped on the door. He was surprisingly tall, and being some ten inches shorter than him, he towered over me. He looked down at me and winked. The door flew open. Hey. Hey guys, glad you could make it. We'll be a bit squished in here, but it's better than nothing. What? We couldn't get the classroom this year. I jumped. Shane stood behind me, expressionless. I didn't even see him come. Yeah, turns out Hidden Lock decided to book it for the same day. <laughs> Wonder what for. John snorted somewhere in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure your room is better than nothing. Oh, Shane with the zingers. That wasn't a zinger. Are you just going to stand outside or are you coming in? We stepped through the threshold, fully and completely entering PBG and John's room. Boy territory. We were out of our element. I still, yeah, the, the posters are great, though. Maya had never been in the room before, and she glanced at the walls, shelves, and desks like a manic squirrel. Her eyes gleamed, and I had the sneaking suspicion she was making note of what she saw for her own nefarious purposes. The Fan what, fiction. Yep, the what they were, I had no idea. PBG John slash fic. <laughs> Rather, I didn't want to know what she planned to write about PBG and John doing with the soccer ball. Oh, soccer practice. <laughs> go on, go on, take a seat anywhere. I looked to my left and saw boxers lying on a desk chair. Blood shot into my face. <laughs> Nosebleed. Yep. Were they used? 
<laughs> oh, right. Big Bidji followed my gaze and turned red. Aww. Uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, let me clean up a bit. Adorable. Mm. Pigsty. Do they have pigsties in England? Why would they not? Everything in America is derivative of England. Including you. We have better pink-haired people. <laughs> but we're in Japan. <laughs> yeah, we all forget. They even forget in the game. Shane looked at me blankly. <laughs> they do break the fourth wall a couple of times here. Man, we're so lucky the Wii, the Wii U has eight-player stomp. I like that. Wii yeah. U. <laughs> I'm excited to crush you, Shane. That's, that also is funny, yeah, they're in Japan, but like, I, I mean, I guess everybody's just kind of abstract animu representations, but I don't think, yeah. like, we've seen anybody that's been overtly Asian. Yeah, I know. And I loved, I loved Shane's soundbite there, John Tron sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Or, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't put on his voice for that. I don't think that's going to happen. Hey. Hello, guess who's here? Gerard entered without knocking, a bright smile on his face. Hold on, what? Oh man, Shane here Shane got here before me. <laughs> Did you fail to see me leave? Yeah, whatever. I was hoping you were in the bathroom or something. We brought extra controllers, darlings! Mm. Does nobody knock around here? Uh... I think it was Nick. Oh wait, oh, wait, oh wait, yeah, that's right, I'm Nick. No, why would we? That's right, you're Josh. To be polite? Pfft, girls and their ridiculous social constructs. What? An intricate knock clattered through the entryway and I pointed towards the door in defiance. See? Someone knocks! I hope it's not Walter White. Good morning. Hello, I brought bagels. Figured we didn't want to repeat it last year oh, when we were so bagelless. <laughs> Satch, ever the practitioner of decorum and bagel provision. My stomach grumbled and she turned red. She got them munchies. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Ah, oh, that's my husband. My husband -o. Oh no. That's that's slash pick fodder for sure. What? <laughs> and and, and Satch's clip was what? It was great. You're the best partner anyone could ask for. You are truly the best of us. Uh, a gentleman and a scholar. Can't you just ask for one normally? <laughs> I brought enough for everyone. Jared leaned his head against Satch's shoulder and <laughs> turned to whisper into his ear. Sweet nothings. <laughs> I knew I could trust you. Okay, well then, everybody pick a place to sit. We'll hand out bagels and then we'll get started. Yay, bagels. Do they have anything to put on the bagels or just I guess bagels? they're just like, they might just be plain. I scuttled to the side of the room against PBG's bed and next to Mai. We'd been sitting with them at lunch, but it wasn't until just now that I realized how crazy having all the normal boots guys in one room could be. Nine adolescent men in one room. That sounds like a slash oh, waiting at. to happen, yeah. man. Not to mention all friends, all part of the same club. One looks like Metaton EX. The personalities mingled in different ways, and I almost couldn't focus over the myriad inside jokes, shouting voices, and flailing limbs. Flailing limbs. Flailing limbs. That is, until the character selection screen came on. In the blink of an eye, the controllers were gone. PBG glanced over at me, and noticing I didn't have one, offered me his. No, really, I'm not good at these kinds of games. <laughs> There's no way you're worse than me, or Jimmy for that matter. Besides, you can just pick Meta Knight or Pit and then spam B. <laughs> Seeing as he didn't want to take no for an answer, I grabbed the controller and selected my character. Turby. He was cute and bouncy. Even though he didn't seem super powerful, he looked like an easy enough character for a beginner to grasp. Although there was something in the eyes and beak that seemed a little... Yeah. Is everybody ready? Beak, I guess. I mean, I guess yeah. this is their weird version of Kirby. I, I guess, yeah. I swallowed hard, the controller already slippery from my sweat. Those sweaty hands again. That was quick. That's a Jeez. chronic condition, man. I've yeah. never played Stomp before. 
though I watched others do so. I wonder if she's clammy as well. She should get that checked out. <laughs> I looked at the buttons on the controller, trying to guess what button did what. One of the top buttons probably jumped. Obviously, the analog stick moved the character. They selected a stage, something with cute little houses and smallish animals bopping around the background. And the countdown began. Yay, Animal Crossing! I was going to say, that's the Animal Crossing level, probably because it's flat, like Final Destination. There were buttons on the back that clicked when you hit them, but I didn't know what they did. They just clicked, that's all. You want to be an announcer? Three! Oh, there was a weird blue button on the top right, but not on the left. <laughs> That's the Z. Two! And another analog stick? Was that for the camera? How could we all control the camera at once? <laughs> I like how these are clearly GameCube controllers. Yeah. One! Oh no! Oh yeah. Go! <laughs> die, Shane, die! What the hell? Attack everyone, not just me! But you're my mortal enemy! That's right, Hana romanced me last playthrough, and now she's going for you, you're gonna die! Josh, what was that for? I wasn't even fighting you! You are wide open, and death waits for no one. You're next! The battle began, and in a display of slight mercy, the boys left me alone to wander the field and get a sense of my character. Oh, that does jump! I hit the jump button again, and again, and again, watching my character float higher and higher towards the sky. I can fly! <laughs> my joy was cut short as a Noki ball emerged from nowhere and pegged my pink blob in the eye. I fell off the side of the screen, and despite trying to jump back up, it wouldn't let me. Why? Turby can be kind of hover, can kind of hover for a while, but eventually he gets too full of air and has to land. Otherwise, he'd be OP as fuck. Well, I mean, he's OP in his own games. Oh. You can always permafly in Kirby. When in doubt, down B. Yeah, when you're playing Kirby, yeah. Down so he just B. Turns into stone. People spam the hell out of that move. In the commotion of the match, curses and death threats mixing with the clack of controllers. Nobody was listening to what Nick was saying. The key to getting someone to hear you in this commotion, it seemed, was shouting their name at the beginning of your sentence. Gerard! Satch! I frowned as my pink little blob fell back onto the map. Following Nick's advice, I hit down B. A cloud yep. appeared around my pink guy and he became a rock. What? What? I don't understand. What would a rock do? I repeated the move multiple times, always turning into a rock of some sort on the ground, never hurting anybody near me. Suddenly an explosion rocked the ground and Turby flew into the air just as I hit down B. No! no! To my surprise, he formed into a rock and fell, directly onto John's head. His Nario was sent flying off the screen and died. Dot, dot, dot? You're on my shit list. Oh god. I'm very sorry. It didn't take long after that for me to die five pitiful, painful deaths. But as my little Turby tumbled off the screen for the sixth and final time, a small surge of pride hit me. I killed John. THE JonTron, Even if by accident. I also beat him in a game once. <laughs> I handed my controller to Mai and sat back, completely satisfied. If it weren't for the fact that it was Mai's turn, I'd jump back in, eager to find other strategies for murdering my friends and potentially stirring up a hit list a mile long. And also playing more video games. <laughs> I'm just thinking about the Star Bomb song, Smash. It is time for us to motherfucking smash! Wait, no! That's not cool! So this was the joy of games. After playing a few rounds, the official tournament started. People played one-on-one -on -one matches against each other, slowly thinning out the competition over time. Mai went before me and was, rather unfairly, paired against Jared. Every blow he doled out to her was, in her mind, some form of actual physical contact. At least judging by the way she shivered when oh, she was God. hit it was. S and M. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, she died almost immediately. I was the last person set to go against PBG. The others chuckled as we were past the controllers. 
<laughs> Don't worry, Hana. BBG's the easiest of all of us. You're bound to beat him. Ah, oh, come on, guys. Don't worry, Hana. I'll go easy on you. I nodded as PBG picked up the most level playing field, a small platform floating out in space. Yep, final destination. The match started, and PBG graciously held his player still. Go ahead and test your moves. You're a great friend. Aw, that's real nice of you, PBG. Yeah, real nice. I tested my moves, and while doing so, my hand brushed against the yellow stick. Turby did a menacing low kick, and my eyebrows raised. That looked... powerful. Ready to go? Yeah! I think so! I don't know, PBG. she's using the C-stick to do her smashes, though. That's mm. no good. PBG charged at me across the screen, and when he came close enough for me to hit, I pulled, pushed the yellow stick in his direction. He flew across the screen. My mouth fell open. PBG grit his teeth. Oh man, he's got... He's got fangs. <laughs> Another point for the they're a coven point, uh, theory. Yep. I see how it is. No more Mr. Nice Guy then. <laughs> is he playing Sonic? I wonder who he is playing. <laughs> I partially doubted that PBG had a non-nice bone in his body, but the match had begun. It was a long battle. A surprisingly long battle. We seemed to be evenly matched, right up until the very end, when I smashed him off the screen with Turby's hammer. What? What? I set the controller down quietly, not particularly happy about having crushed PBG in my second ever match of Stomp. PBG nodded solemnly. Oh, he looks so sad! <sighs> Poor baby. I guess I lost then. Whoa! Damn, Hana! That was... That is some natural-born talent right there, darling! Well, of course, she's a natural. I... I don't really think so. Anyway, the next match is Shane versus Paul. PBG remained quiet for a while after that. It wasn't until the third round that he joined in again, cheering with the rest of the guys. My match rolled around, but this time I was against Jared, and this time I lost in only a few minutes. Okay, so PBG just sucks then. <laughs> I set the controller down again, happy to no longer have responsibility over the life and death of inanimate pixels. As I did so, Paul leaned in to whisper something to Shane, whose eyes flew wide open, then his face shut down. Over my dead body. Their eyes slid to me and I looked away. Oh dear. <laughs> oh right. They were talking about me, weren't they? I scooted over to Mai, feeling more comfortable near her than near any of the guys. Well, yeah, they're in boy territory. It's terrifying in there. <laughs> we cheered for Jared right up until the very end. He lost to a supernaturally agile Shane, who is seemingly being fueled by the rage of a thousand demonic <laughs> toddlers. That's specific. It's very specific. The imagery in this is so, in is so inventive. I really like it. Everyone, that was a great round. It looks like we're in even better shape than last year. Well, all of us except PBG. That was uncalled for. Totally deserved. Anyways. I'm tired, so get out of my room. Please. <laughs> he grinned broadly, not finding anything wrong with how he summarily dismissed us. Mai and I gathered our things and left the room with the others, who, laughing and joking, dispersed in all different directions. Together, we shuffled home. We fell through the doorway exhausted, with barely enough energy to change into our PJs. Mai leaped onto her bed with a happy sigh. Oh, Hana, I'm so glad you came to Asagao. Aww. As if this couldn't have happened without me here. Well, it couldn't have, probably. <laughs> this is what the whole game's about. Mai shoved her face into her pillow and emitted a muffled reply. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. I fell onto my bed, staring at the rungs that kept Mai and her mattress from collapsing onto me and smothering me to death in the night. <laughs> I think about this often. Obviously. <laughs> that was... really fun. Video games are fun, Mai. Really? Really? She shuffled around on top of her bed. 
I mean, I thought it was okay. It was passable. I don't know if I'd call it super fun or anything. Really? No? I loved it. GTFO! <laughs> she That's because you're a noob! <laughs> she chuckled. Seems like you found your calling. Ha ha ha, I'm sure I have. Above me, my yawned. Let's go to sleep. I'm exhausted. Smiling, I got up and turned out our light. Maybe you just need to get good, Mai. <laughs> good night, Hana. Good night, Mai. And next time, we will continue with the next day. Until next time, thanks for watching. See you.